right, now that I've been riding this thing for a little while, I'm gonna turn on. Yo, that was awesome. Let me turn this off. Whoa, did you hear that? What's going on, guys? Here we are in the mountains of Santa Monica, I believe. Man, what a beautiful section of coastline this is. But right now, it's not about the beauty of the land, it's about this road right here that's called Encino Road. And what we're gonna be doing is testing out this little guy right here. It's called the Pedal Commander. It's got city mode, sport mode, sport plus mode. I'm gonna rip this vehicle without the Pedal Commander on to begin with. I'm gonna see how the throttle response is. I'm gonna see how the bike performs as we hammer the twisty roads up here. I'm then gonna put it in city mode and see how that changes. I'm then gonna go into sport mode and see how that changes. And then finally, I'm gonna put it in sport plus and I'm gonna be giving you my butt dyno feedback on just exactly what that Pedal Commander is doing and what you can expect to get out of it out of your vehicle. Anyhow, let's get on the bike and get started. Let's get this thing fired up. Let's turn this guy off. No pedal commander right now. We're going straight commando. We're going to be using what Can Am has given us stock out of this vehicle for the first run here. So, this road will be a great road to be able to feel the exact usable power or the change in power, I should say, that the pedal commander is putting down to the ground. So the first thing I like to show is look how far I have to twist my wrist before I start to get that motor to come alive. It's literally more than a quarter of a throttle turn before you start to hear the motor kick on and that's just the motor starting to kick on. It still has more to go and you can feel it as you twist the throttle. It's a very delayed response if you will. Now if you're a beginning rider that's a perfect perfect way to be able to get used to this machine to get comfortable and to kind of get your feet wet. Now I'm going to go ahead and back off the throttle completely and uh, put this puppy over into city mode. All right, we're now in city mode. Pretty interesting. So what I'm noticing here, you can hear it in the motor too. As soon as I start to crack the throttle, we're talking like eighth of a turn, you hear the motor kicking on. So it's kicking on way quicker than it was in the factory setup. Now it's not kicking on super strong. So I'm gonna say that the pedal commander is now having a similar feel to the stock responsiveness of the throttle after you get to that quarter turn point. But it starts off immediate and then it continues all the way through the full twist of the throttle. So what I mean by that is, oh, oh shit. <laughs> Drifting on that corner. All right. So there we go. So as soon as it starts to kick in, all the way through, you can hear changes in the actual power delivery, about the amount of power that's being laid down. Very nice. I like that feeling a lot. So that's city mode. Now it's back off a little bit, and let's jump into sport mode and see what kind of reaction that we get from here. Oh yeah. So instead of an eighth of a turn throttle, as soon as you touch that throttle, you get you get power rolling on. Immediate power starting to roll on. Yeah, so it feels, huh. it has a little bit of a ramp up. So the first crack right there, you get power, but you don't get full power until you get a little bit further, about halfway through that throttle twist. But by the time you get to quarter twist throttle, this thing's already full, full wide open. All right, let's back off the throttle now. Switch over to Sport Plus mode. So Sport Plus mode, as soon as you look at that throttle, it's almost like it's full pinned open. You're getting more power delivery in just like a 16th of the throttle than you're getting in any of the other modes that we previously tested. Ooh, Decker Canyon. All right, we found a new canyon. Dude. We didn't get that chirp on any of the other settings that we tried, so we didn't come in full complete stop either. But wow, look at the views up here. Wow, this is pretty cool. So the way that that pedal commander has allowed this throttle to basically be full pinned open with just, I don't know, an eighth, 
an eight to a quarter throttle. I mean, the eight throttle, it feels like it's laying mad power down to the ground. Quarter throttle, you're absolutely full pinned open on this thing. Whew. It's like a light switch, on and off. The Mole Holland Highway, how did we end up here? I don't know, but this is a pretty famous, pretty famous road right here. Check it out guys, the famous Mulholland Drive on a Can-Am Riker 600. Here we go, hang on. This pedal commander definitely helps that back end get sideways and loose. Spent about a half hour this morning trying to find a good way to mount a camera back there to that rear wheel so you guys can see. Wow, this road is twisty. <laughs> I don't think I've felt the three-wheeler in a full drift until earlier today. That was pretty cool. Now that we've been running in Sport Plus mode and you guys have seen or felt or experienced the reaction that we're getting out of this throttle, whew, that's fun. Let me crank this thing down to off. We are now stock throttle. Such a beautiful valley, man. So these corners, <laughs> it's hard to get going actually. It's right here. Full pin, full pin wide open. It takes a long time for the motor to actually ramp up and get going. Now again, for those of you who are beginner riders, that's really good. It's a great safety feature. It allows you to be able to, you know, feel where you're at to make adjustments in order to just, you know, do what you need to do in order to enjoy the ride. But for those of you who are starting to get used to that feeling, you're comfortable on your bike, and you want to step up to the next level of performance, you have got to get a pedal commander installed on your vehicle because it will absolutely be a game changer. The amount of throttle response and funness that it brings to this machine is really quite incredible. Now it's time for me to get this bike back to the shop so I can jump on the 900 Rally and give you guys the back-to-back -back comparison. Dude, we didn't get that chirp on any of the other settings that we tried, so we didn't come in a full complete stop either. But wow, look at the views up here. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> that turned it down into eco mode. Did you hear the motor, the surge of the motor? That's crazy. Jeez Louise. Let me hold this down again to go to city. All right, so that's from eco to regular city. Sport. Wow, that's epic. Being able to feel the extra power that's given at that exact throttle speed or position is awesome and oh, <laughs> that is so fun all right let me do that again let's go back down to nothing so this is stock throttle position right here city if you heard it a little bit sport increases even more and that was i did not even change the position of my throttle it was at one single spot and that was showing you the progression of acceleration that you get at that exact same throttle position with each of these different settings in the pedal commander that's that's cool pedal commander is a real thing man all right guys you've got to experience this this is the pedal commander from a single throttle position so here's eco mode I'm like halfway throttle turned open and this thing is not even going right now. So check this out. <laughs> now I'm gonna hit this pedal commander button, same exact throttle position for city mode. 
Whoa! That is awesome! I did not change my throttle position. It is exactly the same, it hasn't moved. Now watch, I'm gonna go from, oh, this isn't even city. That just took it off of Eco. So this is just standard Can-Am Riker 900 throttle position right here. So again, I'm not gonna change the throttle position. I'm gonna hit this into city. There's a little bit of an uptick. Really didn't feel it as much I felt on the previous ones. Now I'm gonna, dude, sport, do you feel that? Oh, it was like, I don't know, 15% boost in, in acceleration at that exact moment in throttle position. So cool. All right, and now while keeping the same throttle position, I'm gonna hit this in a sport plot. Whoa! <laughs> Did you see that? You probably saw the speed pickup. Dude, it just was like, a little hyper mode right there. Super fun. That just showing you the amount of extra throttle that's being put down at that same position in the throttle curve in the various modes. I'm digging it, dude, digging it. Dude, if you own a three-wheeled vehicle and you are looking for maximum power, this pedal commander is something you've got to have on your vehicle. I mean, this 600 is a little bit doggy out of the gate, but with the pedal commander, it feels fast and fun and super responsive. Totally dig it. If you like what you saw today, please give it a thumbs up. If you want more action like this coming directly to your inbox, please hit that subscribe button and more importantly, the notification bell. Until next time, and as always, I'm Kyle. Take care and ride safe.